What's going on YouTube? Nicholas here with Tech Love TV, where we don't discriminate and we believe all tech deserves some love. Yeah. See some love, it's love day. I'm yeah, sure man. people love out here on the court. So today I have the Jabra Elite Sport. Now let me tell you a quick story how I ended up picking these up. So I was in the Best Buy store and I was looking for new earbuds to review on this channel. And I've been getting a lot of comments on the Jabra 65 line, the 65T, the 65 Elite. I think those are what they're called. They had the Jabra 65 Elite T and they also had the Jabra Elite Active 65T. And then they had these Jabra Elite Sports and they were all lined up and these cost the most. And I was thinking they cost the most, are they the newer ones? I'm not really up on all of Jabra's products. So I was just thinking, okay, these might be the newest ones that are out yet. I just haven't been having my ear to the street like I should be as a tech reviewer. So I just picked these up and I asked the Best Buy lady. Now, something that I've noticed since I started this channel, if I go into Best Buy or sometimes even the Apple store, nine times out of 10, I know more than the person that's helping me. I mean, I'm not trying to toot my horn or anything, but I just do a lot of research on various tech items that I'm interested in. And if I'm going in looking for something, then I probably know more about that tech item than that person. But I try to stay humble and maybe they can show me a little bit more that I probably don't know. But nine times out of 10, it doesn't work like that. I get most of my knowledge from YouTube, MKBHD, Unbox Therapy, CKID, you know, the usual suspects, your average consumer, I just seen. So I went in there, not doing my research on these. These were, these were the most expensive ones. I asked the Best Buy person and they said, oh, I believe that these came out in early, early 2019. I'm like, all right, cool. Just pick these up without doing any research. Got them, went back to my car, looked at them online. These came out in 2017. I was like, man, Best Buy, y'all got me. I've been bamboozled. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Got it. But either way it went, I had them in my possession already, so I decided to still do a review for this channel. Okay, so these can be found on Amazon for around $165. You can also find these on the Jabra website for around $219. Now, why Jabra doesn't match their Amazon price on their own website is just beyond me. But you can find these in a black, and you can find these in a green. I wasn't able to find the green ones on Amazon, only on the Jabra website, even though I think they're back ordered on the Jabra website. But you can also get these black ones on Amazon, and they also have a lime green pack. If you do like that lime green look, you can buy the lime green pack, I think it's for $15, and just put it on here so you can have that lime green look. And as always, all links will be in the description down below for these earbuds and the lime green pack. But before we get into all that, if this is your first time here, go ahead and smash that subscribe button down below. And don't forget, bell icon, bell icon, bell icon. Hit that bell icon so you get notifications on when I drop my latest tech video. So very quickly going around this box, on the front side you'll see Elite Sport, engineered to be the most technically advanced true wireless sport earbud. Superior sound for music and calls. On the back side, it says up to four and a half hours battery, 13 and a half hours with charging case, waterproof. I believe the waterproof is IP67 rated. Yep, it's IP67 rated. Three year limited warranty against failure due to sweat. So they do mention that it's IP67 rated. And on the inside, it says that you can submerge these on the water up to a meter for 30 minutes. So if these break because you put them in water and not because of sweat, will they be able to know the difference? And if they can know the difference, will they honor the warranty? Because they say that inside the user manual. I don't know. Maybe that's something that Jabra needs to clear up on their newer versions coming out. Advanced heart rate monitor, secure and comfort fit. And I will get to the fit a little bit later in this video. Exceptional engineering and superior sound for 145 years. So it also shows the different wing tips, ear and ear tips that you would get on the inside as well. So when you first open up the box, which you'll get, you'll see the Jabra earbuds staring you right in the face. If you take this cover off, you'll have the case, the earbuds, 
and then inside this box underneath you'll get your additional wing tips your foam tips your charging cable and your user manual now i've been hearing that the 65t line that the case is not magnetic this one isn't magnetic either but it is spring loaded so it closes pretty tight and it's not going to open up at all for any reason i think even if you drop it it still won't open up either. So I think it's pretty secure. On the inside, you'll see your two charging ports. And on the right side, you have your charging light indicator and you also have your micro USB port. And that's pretty much it for the case. It is not a wireless charging case, so forget about all of that. So this case will charge your earbuds up two more times for a total of nine additional hours on top of the four and a half hours that you'll get when the earbuds are fully charged themselves. So you'll have a total of around 13 and a half. It advertises 13 and a half, but I think from my experience, it's more, more around 11 and a half to 12 hours of music playback time that I got with these. On the inside of each earbud, you have your charging points. And on the right one, this is where you'll have your heart rate monitor and your VO2 max monitor. And I'll get into that when I talk about the app here shortly. The wing tips are replaceable. You have three different size wing tips, like I said before. And on the outside, you have your four digital microphones with advanced noise canceling technology. And on the outside, you have your volume up and your volume down button. You hold the volume up button for one second and that'll move the track forward. You hold the volume down button for one second that'll move the track back. If you hold down the volume down button, that will turn the earbuds off. On the right one, the button up top, if you hold that down, that will actually automatically bring up the sports app and then the button on the bottom if you tap it it'll play and pause your music and it'll also end and answer phone calls you hold the bottom button down that will turn the earbuds off as well and the last feature for the buttons the bottom button on the right earbud if you double tap it that will activate the hear through feature which i will talk about more once i go through the app and that's pretty much it for the construction the button features and everything for the earbuds now you'll also get usb micro charging cable you have six different earbuds you have three foam ones and three silicone ones. Now the foam ones, I thought they were similar to the Comply ear tips, but they're not. Because on the outside of the foam, you have, it looks like a, kind of like a, a rubberized material. So yes, they are foam, but if you squeeze them, they tend to go back to their normal shape very quickly because of the rubber material on the outside. Now I know the Comply ear tips, they're just foam. And if you squeeze those, they stay in place for a little bit to get them inside your ears and then they'll expand inside your ears so that you have a better fit. Now these foam ones do not do that and I don't like it. So I just went with the silicone air tips when I was using these earbuds. And then you also have the silicone wing tips, the replaceable silicone wing tips. Two of the pairs have hooks on them. You have a smaller version and a larger version, and then you also have wingtips without the hooks on them. And I just went with the wingtips without the hooks on them. So when you first get these, what you want to do is download the Jawbrush Sport app. And then once you download that, it will run through the whole setup process. So once you turn these on, you hold the power button down on both sides, they'll turn on. You actually hear a chime in the right one, and it'll say connected and then it will show up on your app. It'll say register product, get news. I'll do that later. Let me see, let me get these in. Okay, so you see in the Heart rate detected. It says heart rate detected from the right one. So let me go through this app real quick. On the bottom left, you got history that'll show all your workouts done. I haven't worked out with these yet, so there's nothing to show here. It'll show date, time of day, activity, duration, distance. You can add workouts. Under achievements, I'm guessing there's various achievements that you'll get more workouts that you do. Under workout, okay, so at the very top, you'll see your earbuds, Jobber Elites. You can't click on that. You'll also have your heart rate monitor, your battery life, and your GPS signal strength. And then you have this bar, it goes from black to green. If you click on that, it'll show you your fitness level. It'll, you can take a VO2 max test. It also has a recovery tab, and it'll tell you 100% recovery. Your body is ready to work for a greatly improved workout. And then it says, how is my body recovery time calculated? You can click on that and then they'll tell you exactly how your body recovery time is calculated. Go back to the fitness level 
if you hit take a VO2 max test, it'll bring you back to the main workout screen and then you can click on that again and it'll show you the various tests that you can do. Also, you have your training settings. You can hook this up to iTunes Music or voice readouts and you know me, I'm not a, I don't get my music from iTunes Music. I'm a title guy. You see the hat? You have the start button at the bottom. Starting test. It actually automatically starts and then your music will play speed as well. Speed up to reach your target It'll zone. It'll tell you to speed up and everything. So that just starts the VO2 max test. Test canceled. You can also click on my body. The race time predictor for marathon, 5K running, 10K, half marathon. Under settings, you can update your profile, gender, height, weight, date of birth, units. Training plan, you can set your training plan. My training ambition, improve steadily. You can adjust this, improve intensely, improve very intensely, maintain, improve very gently, improve gently. And then also you can set which days that you wanna work out on. For the heart rate settings, you have resting heart rate test, personalized heart rate zone, find my headphones and so that sets up and it'll tell you exactly where your headphones are if you lose them general settings gps for workouts pedometer calibration vo2 max reminder you can export to csv you can also delete all data social media sharing pick different things that you want to share your maps select so like workout details fitness level activity duration distance training effect Calories burn, average heart rate, max heart rate, average pace, average speed. Sport communities, you have Strava and you have Endomondo. Not very familiar with that. If you're familiar with that, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. Headphone settings, now this is the part that I like. So you have, under headphone settings, you have headphone readouts, you can turn that off and on. Incoming call ID, turn that off and on. And then you have hear through. So what hear through does is if you turn it on, you can hear the ambient noise. Now you can have it turn on and you can have music and surroundings. So you'll still hear music and you'll still hear your surroundings or you can just have surroundings only. So if you do turn it on, you double click on the right one, the button down for the hear through mode, the music will stop and you'll just be able to hear the surroundings around you. I think I like that more because when I was playing with these and I turned them all the way up and I double tap, with the music and surroundings clicked and I double tap the hear through button, I really couldn't hear the ambient noise around me because just because my music was so much louder. So I kept it on just surroundings only that worked best for me. And then you have your music equalizer. Now your music equalizer is something that I love about earbuds with apps, whether you got your Samsung Galaxy Buds, you have your Sennheiser Wireless Momentums, Jaybird Runs, any earbuds with your app, you can adjust the EQ setting so that you can get that perfect sound. Some are better than others. The best EQ app that I found was from Jaybird, but inside of this app, you can still adjust whatever you want. You can have, you can customize it or you can just pick something that's already adjusted for you. But that gives you the ability to customize the sound just how you want it. So the sound quality with your, when you're listening to music is at its peak for these earbuds. Now, with these, I was able to get the bass exactly where I want it. It could probably use a little bit more bass, but I'm not complaining about that because the highs and the mids as well, I was able to adjust that. So I was able to get the perfect sound for my liking when I was working out with these earbuds. Also, you have side tone. Side tone is a feature that enables you to hear your own voice when you're on a call. Turn that, you can turn that off and on, firmware version 5.0 and then you have the language. You can pick different languages, uh, French, I think that's Mandarin, English, I don't know what that is, and you can pick Dutch as well. And then after headphone settings, you can have uh, first startup. Please take a few minutes now to set up your headphones. That'll set up your headphones. If you, want, if you reset everything, you can set them up. The app tour guide tells you exactly about everything inside the app. Okay, and then you have register my headphones. The heart rate zone will tell you exactly the different heart rate zones and what they mean. You have your fitness level info. 
You also have your training effect, backup and restore, and then about. Privacy policy, legal disclaimer, tech info. You can rate this app, buy Jabra online, go to the Jabra website. And so that's pretty much it for the app. I mean, there's a bunch of things that you can do inside of this app. Jabra did a really good job really being able to maximize exactly what this app can do. Okay, so one more thing that I forgot to mention earlier is if music will keep playing once you remove one of the earbuds, if you can just listen to one at a time. So what I notice is that when I do have music playing on both earbuds, I am able to take the left one out, put it in the case, and I can still have music in my right earbud. But what's weird is that if I remove the right one, the music does stop. It, it stops out of the left one, but music keeps playing in the right one. And it's not like the music pauses. I don't know why it doesn't pause. I can still hear the music playing. And then if I move it close enough, I guess it's a proximity thing. Like if I move the right earbud close to the left one, the music comes back on. So it's a proximity thing, move it far. I think it might be like 12, eight to 12 inches away from each other. The music will cut off, put it back in. The music is playing just fine. Take it out, take the right one out, put it in the case, music stops. So you are able to use one earbud at a time, but only the right one. So I don't know if that matters to anybody out there, but if you want to use just one earbud, it always has to be the right one. And I believe the right one is because it has the most technology in it with the heart rate sensor and the VO2 max sensor in it as well. So the right earbud is the only earbud that you can use by itself. So I already went over the sound quality with the EQ, being able to customize the EQ, making it personalized as much as possible with the app will allow. Sound quality, like I said before, is amazing to me. That's just my ears. I don't know what, how you will like it, but for me, I'm able to do exactly what I wanna do inside of this EQ to make these sound the best for my ears. And also the call quality. You do have four microphones on each side of these earbuds to help with call quality, active noise cancellation, pass through hearing and everything. So when I tested out the call quality of these earbuds, they were flawless. In any environment I was in, I was able to hear the person I was talking to perfectly. They were able to hear me perfectly, not too much background noise. Jabra really, really did an amazing job with the call quality of these earbuds. And so, Overall, they made a very, very good product. Amazing app, good earbuds, but there's only one thing, one thing that bothered me about these earbuds. They give you so many wing tips. I mean, they give you three different wing tips. They give you six different ear tips to try and get the perfect fit. But in my opinion, I think that the earbud itself is just too big. That's just for my ears. I, I switched out all the wing tips, I switched out all the ear tips trying to find something that'll work perfectly for me, but I couldn't find a combination that would fit my ear perfectly. Now I'm not saying that that's gonna happen with you, this is just my personal opinion. I don't know if anybody else have had these and they've experienced the same problem, but for me, I wasn't able to find the right combination of wing tip and ear tip for these to fit in my ear just right. There was always, I don't know, there was a little bit of pressure here and it was hurting my ears over maybe like 30, 45 minutes of working out. They would hurt my ears and I never really got them to sit in my ears perfect. For me to go out to Best Buy and spend 219 on these, if I'd have got them on Amazon, they'd have been 175, but either way, they're still in the upper tier of price points, in my opinion, for earbuds. For them not to sit in my ear perfectly exactly how I want them, that's something that's just a negative factor for me. I mean, because when I'm working out and I got these to work out in, if something else outside of me trying to catch my breath, my muscles hurting, sweat dripping on my face, something else outside of that bothers me, it's just magnified by 10. So me worrying about these earbuds starting to hurt my ears, it just magnifies me by 10, not getting a perfect fit 
is it's just so annoying to me. So I'm not saying that these aren't very good earbuds because they are from the call quality, the sound call quality, what it can do with the app, all everything customizable inside the app. But for me, it's just the fit of these earbuds. They don't work out for me. That's it, people. If this is your first time here, go ahead and smash that subscribe button down below and don't forget the bell icon. There's a bell icon right down there. I think somewhere down there. Click that bell icon so you get notifications on when I drop my latest tech videos. As always, thanks for stopping by the Tech Love channel. My name is Nicholas and I'm out. Peace.